longtime member of the Sacramento Arts Community as the founder of the Ruth Rosenberg Dance Ensemble and currently on the Arts Education staff at the Mondavi Center UC Davis. I'm also the chair of the Arts Education Committee of the For Arts Sake Arts Initiative. I'm pleased to note that the committee is comprised of nearly 60 educators, artists, community members, arts organizations, and arts commission staff. Our discussions on the state of arts education have revealed that not only is there an increased awareness of the need for and the value of arts education, but also a dramatic decrease in funding. In fact, there are free community arts programs in the area filled to the gills, and now state funding that was previously focused on arts education may be used in other ways besides arts education. So in-school arts programs are no longer assured of continuation. We need help. We're fortunate to have a mayor who recognizes the value of arts education to the community. To that end, we've gathered here today to celebrate an exciting announcement regarding arts education in our region. So now it is my pleasure to introduce Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson and share more with you. Thank you. Well, good morning to each and every one of you. Thanks for coming out. Um, we are talking about arts, and I think that is a very exciting topic. I'd like to first of all thank Ruth uh, for her remarks and her commitment to lead um, our Arts Education Committee. Um, I also want to just say um, we are here today in the midst of something else that's going on in the convention center. It's called Perspectives. And uh, it's where you have premier speakers around the country who are speaking and networking and talking about business. And how does that connect to arts? Is we believe arts is good industry. There's an economic impact. There's jobs. And we need to redefine how we look at arts I'm in our community. And that's partly what the Arts Initiative uh, will talk and, and strive to do. Um, for Sacramento to become a world-class destination city, um, we need big ideas, and we have to make sure the arts are a vital part of whatever goal that it is that we're talking about and inspiring to do. Um, arts needs to be an integral part of the fabric of our community, and that's my commitment as a mayor, is to make sure that we do that. When you think about arts, it not only provides you know, recreational activities and entertainment options, um, for residents in our community. It also is a convener. Arts brings people together, and you've heard me say that time and time again. Arts is also an outlet where people can share ideas and share their opinions and can express them in the right way. And arts also inspire and educate people. And when we think about our children, our most valuable possession and resource are our young people. We've got to make sure that every young person has access to an arts education, and that's part of our commitment. Talking about the other aspects of what art brings in our community, it's about economics for us as well. Art activities stimulate both direct and indirect economic benefits. It creates jobs. It provides a source of revenue for local restaurants and retailers. When you have a down economy, again, we need to reposition arts in our community. Arts is about quality of life. It brings people together, which I talked about earlier. It talks about a creative workforce. We want to make sure that we're living in a place that's fun to be in, where you have opportunities and things to do. And we want to be innovative and allow phones and things to go off as well. <laughs> that's the creativity of arts. <laughs> um, and arts, again, is about educating young people, making sure that they're prepared for success. Um, when you think about this time in our country, arts organizations are struggling. Um, they're struggling in real ways, and arts education is dwindling. It's the first thing to get cut in schools. We all know about our state budget. When they cut, it impacts the local jurisdictions. But what we want to do is protect our schools, and that's part of our commitment um, here in this particular initiative. A little bit about the For Arts Sake initiative. Um, we have put our resources um, together to make sure that we put arts front and center, and that we create the right dialogue in our city. We want to make sure that we're talking about art in a constructive manner, especially in a down economy. In June, we launched this initiative called For Arts Sake. Its overarching goal is to make sure that we have a creative and collective vision to, to determine the direction that we want arts to play in the city of Sacramento. In order to achieve this goal, we have challenged citizens and the arts community to reinvent the way we think about arts and how we support our arts community by working together and being bold. We want to think bold, we want to act bold, and we want that to be synonymous with Sacramento. In order to achieve that goal, we got together an arts group of people and our leadership team here. Can you raise your hand if you're part of the arts leadership team? We have four or five members there. I want to thank you so much for your commitment 
um, in terms of being part of the leadership team. We broke the arts groups down into five categories. One was film, one was funding, facilities, marketing, and arts education. Those are the five areas that we felt were very important for us to look at. We also made sure that people that were on these committees represented the visual arts, the performer arts, and the literary arts. Big venues, medium venues, and small venues. We had to make sure that everyone had a voice um, in this particular initiative, and we were able to do that in a very effective way. Um, today, we have a very special announcement. I think it's great for the city of Sacramento. It's great for our region. I'm not going to make the announcement. I'm going to let our special guest here make the announcement. But let me tell you a little bit about Mike Kaiser. He's a person that is renowned um, throughout not only the United States, but in terms of the world and what he has done. Um, he is currently the president of the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. And yes, he has been in Sacramento three times over the last three or so months. We're going to get him a condo, but we don't have condos here. We're going to get him a place to stay when he's here on a regular basis because to have his expertise and commitment in our community is very, very significant. He's been the former director, executive director of the Royal Opera House. He's been the former executive director of the American Ballet Theater. He's also a former executive director of the Alvin Ailey Dance Theater, so that shows you how broad his range is. And in each of those jobs, they were very challenged organizations financially and operationally. He got rid of the, the deficit that they had. He put them in a situation where they were on solid ground and doing well as an organization. And he has so much to offer. He spoke here. Is Ruth Blank here from the yep, Sacramento <coughs> Regional Community Foundation is here? Ruth brought him out here a, a few months back as part of a lecture series. And there was standing room only in, in terms of the arts community. I got a chance to speak briefly. And Michael Kaiser and myself got a chance to visit for a few minutes. And he shared a couple things that I thought were interesting. He said, I don't normally see this kind of energy in a, in a city. And I normally don't see the political will where you have a, a mayor who's also here together working with our community. You don't normally see that. And I said, well, we're not just putting on a show. It's what we believe. We're going to elevate the status of arts in our community. And one thing led to another. And he said, after a while, you know, I think you're the real deal. I said, well, I got elected mayor. I got to be something. I'm not a fluke. And you know, one thing led to another in terms of our discussion. He talked about this initiative that I'll let him share a little bit uh, with us all collectively in a moment. But his point was, he said, I want to send a team of people out and see what you're doing with the For Arts Sake initiative. So he had a group of people who came out. They visited. They spent a whole day here. They visited with the art community. They came to an arts initiative a gathering. And one of the gentlemen who spoke, his name is Daryl. Daryl Ayers, I believe. Daryl spoke and said, again, I don't see this kind of energy in a city galvanized for the arts. And our commitment was, we need to find a way to weather the storm in a down economy. And rather than putting arts on the side and say, hey, we'll deal with it a year from now, no, we're going to deal with it right now because it is value to our community. We think about arts and culture and quality of life. They play a critical role. So Daryl went back and you know, shared with his team the things that we were doing in Sacramento. And uh, I think that's partly why we're going to have this very, very significant announcement today. So would you please give a very, very warm welcome to the president of the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts, Michael Kaiser.